Hello, good afternoon. This is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well. I thought we'd do a quick unboxing on this awesome Matchbox 5-pack, the Autobahn Express 2. And in truth, I've been not really buying much of any of the Matchbox 5-packs, any of the basic. And the reason for that is because apart from the fact I've got tired of waiting for new stuff to come in, which for some reason where I live, in all different places it sells Matchbox, there's just been no new ways for a while and it just gets boring, you know, never finding the new stuff. And like I said, and also I've been concentrating more recently on the vintage pieces and the premium pieces. But we have got a basic five pack and there's some cool looking pieces in here for sure. And there's two in particular that I really wanted. So without further ado, I will just cut the top. This is a trick I learned from Tyrone at building the ultimate matchbox car collection if these scissors are actually going to be any good to cut the box and just bear with me or we'll fast forward through this bit but the reason for it is so you can do this and pull it straight out and then you can always store the cars back in the packaging if you've got nowhere to package it so the first car is a jaguar i believe it is the xk a little look 1954 Jaguar XK140 Roaster. So let's get some zoom on and take a look at the first car. So here it is in like a, a cream or an ivory, whatever you colour you want to call it. But I have this in a few different colours, but it looks good in this. And there you go. Back is all done nicely. Tampo, or so I say printed in. Jaguar 1956. The front's done. And like I said before, Matchbox do basic well. This is one of the reasons why... I've always liked getting it in the past, but like I said, there's been no new stuff. This box says 2023 on the back, so it's probably for 24, so it is new, or at least new to me. But very, very cool. So that is the first piece, and it's got quite a bit of detail. If you actually look close enough, the steering wheel has got some pretty good detail for once. Rather than a solid plastic lump, you've got some pedals there, throttle brake clutch. Yeah. Cool casting, great start to the five pack. Next piece looks to be, I believe it is, the Dodge Challenger SRT8. So you've seen this a few times now. And again, I've got this in different colours, but this is a nice green, a lovely sort of, well, what is it, like a dark grass green metallic, awesome colour. And again, very nicely tampoed in. If we get some extra zoom on. And there's the back. And that colour is awesome. There's the front. A little bit skew iffy there. But that doesn't matter. Because who looks at these cars? Uh, my eyesight's still pretty good, but even me, when these are when you when you know you don't you don't your eyes don't zoom in like a camera. So any imperfections, as soon as you zoom out, they are gone. So great piece for night piece number two. Piece number three is one of the pieces that drawed me into this. So it is the Ford GT40. And here it is. And I always like to pick up a GT40. It's a bit of package, something on there from the package. But it is in this very nice, again, a metallic blue of some sort. If we get some extra, there we go. So this is a nicely done car. So you've got the twin fuel tanks is painted in or tampoed on. You've got the lights done. GT40 on the front plate, which is cool. This is a nice piece. And these wheels they do suit it well. So you've got like a knockoff wheel effect. And this is a car that these look good on. They quite often stick them on the Mustangs and they don't look too bad on that either. But they look a lot at home on this car. And then... Bit of engine detail and then the best part is the back and they've done the back so that is nicely done so you've got tail lights so this is one of the one of the best in the pack for me awesome awesome piece um, and i don't like buying five packs just for one piece but i would have done for that the next piece that i was after which i thought was cool was that is the volvo p 1800s and here it is. And again, another nice metallic paint. Metallic. 
Oh, I want to say, is it a burgundy? Metallic burgundy. And they've done this, again, really nicely done. The Volvo P1800 has got quite a strange look to it. This car is from the 60s originally. And I think that made famous by uh, The Saint with, I believe, I forgot his name. Is it Roger Moore? There's the back. Volvo. Got a little little sign or a little badge there. The back lights are done quite nicely. Got these usual hubcap wheels that they do quite a good job on, which again are appropriate. There's the front, nicely done. So yeah, again, a nice casting. That is a raised lump in the casting, so that's pretty cool. Gives that badge an effect. So again, got a bit of a paint issue there though. A little, little bubble. Let's see if that's... Yeah, it's hard it's just a bit of a bit of a paint splodge but again like i said i will not be looking at this in detail very often and it wasn't expensive i think i paid for this was it was it eight pounds they've gone up a few pounds since i last bought them they were about five to six pounds i think originally <laughs> but um doesn't matter the last piece again is pretty cool so it is a subaru wrx impreza 2007 and it's in a police livery and i have actually seen these around where i live um maybe a little bit newer than this one but they do do use these around where we live so you wouldn't really want one of these chasing you they are quick cars i've been lucky enough to drive one of these i was actually going to buy one of these a while back quite a few years ago now and uh, i never pulled the trigger on it. it was actually belonged to a friend of mine and uh, they are quite quick cars Especially when they've been hotted up. There you go. Got the police script, the Plitza. Is it down the side there, Plitza? Great big spoiler. And the spoiler's done very nice for a metal piece. Um, part of the casting it is quite nicely done. This would look awesome if it had been finished off. But obviously, you know the way Matchbox and Hot Wheels do it. If a side detail, there's no lights. But, so yeah solid five pack for sure two stars are in the middle but a solid five pack where it's nice when you pick up a five pack and you're not instantly going well i don't like that i don't like that they're a little bit off let's try that again so very cool zoom out but anyway with that please like share subscribe stay tuned for more unboxings premium pieces vintage match these keep, keep saying it vintage die cast monday episodes um i'm going to be uploading another video later on this evening i've already done the video i just forgot to upload it yesterday so i'll be doing that after this this evening most likely and it is the challenge that gary from gary's diecast collection puts out on the volkswagens i have done that so i'll be uploading that as well so double trouble to look forward to but anyway i'll see you all very soon thank you for watching take care